guys, welcome back. My name is Allie, if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. So for today's, oh, if you are new to my channel, my name is Allie, I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys my everyday makeup routine and I just, within that, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys a wear test of the Infallible Fresh Wear, 24 hour fresh wear foundation powder, or it says foundation in a powder. So this is just what it looks like. I have mine in the same shade. Okay, so I actually have my powder foundation in the same shade that I have the liquid foundation. And they're both golden beige, I believe, just once at 460 and then the power powder foundation is 140. I'll be sure to put down, I believe this is golden beige, I believe. But if not, um, this one I know for sure is golden beige, but you can see that they are pretty similar. So this one is actually a match and this one actually turned out to be a match too, even though it does look like it might be a little bit too dark for me. So yeah, I thought that I could just share that wear test with you guys along with showing you what I've been doing for everyday makeup. So let's go ahead and get into it. Just throw the bangs back. Today is just a day and I don't feel cute. I don't, just nothing. So cloudy, windy. It's been windy since yesterday afternoon and I don't know. I don't know, I feel off. I feel like I'm in a funk. I don't know, I'm trying to film and do my makeup and see if it'll pull me out of that, but I'm just not feeling myself today. So let's go ahead and get into this. So obviously the first thing, I that, that second, oh my gosh. So what I've been using for my everyday primer, and it's because I've been wanting to test this out, and especially with this powder foundation, I didn't want it to look too dry on my skin because I can sometimes lean more dry. So for primer, I've been using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. And I just take one pump, well, two, I don't know. And it just looks like that. And we're just gonna apply this all over our face. So next, I do go ahead and go in with my NYX bear with me um prime set and refresh spray and we're just gonna go ahead and also spray this all over our face so for brows what i've been doing is i've been going in with a micro brow pencil so for today i'm going to be using my la girl shady slim brow pencil in dark brown and then i will be using my nyx lift and snatch brow tint pen to fill in my brows instead of going with the pomade since this is more of an everyday makeup look i don't want my brows to be too much you know like i need them to be that happy medium so let's go ahead and just start doing our brows i know that this is something that i show <gasps> Oh, this is something that I show all the time, but also all the time my everyday makeup routine is changing, especially within finding new products that I love. And now, where did that go? Right here. Lift and sculpt, or yeah, no, lift and snatch, not lift and sculpt. <laughs> And the key with this is to do, like apply the smallest amount of pressure that you can, cause the harder you push, the thicker the line. And on every day, I just go in and kinda fill in where your girl got some bald spots. Y'all, they've been fighting all day and I'm gonna go insane. Today's just a hard day. Like, I don't think, People be like, ooh, boss woman, you work, you you know, like you work, you got your own boss life. Try being a stay at home mom where you never clock out, ever, ever. Wife, mom never clocks out. That's boss because y'all, it's exhausting. And then like, let's say, I don't feel good. I don't get to call in. I still gotta get my butt up out of bed, and honestly. That's the real reason I started letting Ethan take Lunchables to school because yes, I'm only making a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, which is his favorite, but one last thing that I got to make to eat during the day, because I still got to pack the lunch, make sure all of his lunch is in there and make sure he grabs his lunchbox. There's been so many times that boy, I've packed his lunch and he has left his whole lunchbox at home. But man, trying to make sure five people eat every single meal of the day, that's a lot. 
a lot. So I'm going on a rant about mom life. Today's just a rough day. And sometimes I just gotta credit myself that it's okay to feel tired and feel off because I do do a lot. So now we are gonna go ahead and clean up our brows. Yes, even on my natural everyday makeup looks, I clean up my brows. So we're just gonna go ahead and start doing that. I'm only taking the slightest bit of concealer because I'm using my e.l.f. Camel concealer today. So next, the next thing I do is I go ahead and we're going to do cream, bronzer, blush, and then obviously concealer. And for concealer, I, what, I'm wanna, what I like to do on these days is go ahead and spot conceal a lot of these more red areas that are breaking out. And then obviously the eye, eyes, because I have a lot of discoloration and even my nose because I have a lot of redness on my nose. I have a lot of redness in my face and I think I get that from my grandma because she just has naturally flushed cheeks. And I've noticed since I was little, like I have the same thing. And then on days like this, I don't use any sponges. Like I just, usually if it's an everyday makeup look, I'm trying to get, get this makeup on and get out the door. So I really try not to waste my time like wetting a sponge. I just want to use something that's good and ready to go. And so I'm using my e.l.f. Flawless Concealer Brush for the concealer. And I don't like to take this too far down because I don't want my face to look elongated. I like for it to look lifted and also as well as I have really, I have a lot of fine lines under my eyes. So I have to be careful with how much product I put under there. One thing is also that whenever I'm doing this concealing part, I'm not really trying to move it around because it's too cover. This, Whenever I'm doing concealer this way, it's literally to conceal. So I'm not trying to apply it like a foundation all over my face. It's literally to conceal redness. So I like to just dab and then, and then with whatever product is left, then I start to spread it around. But first I just like to dab. And then like I said, I kind of put too much because I forgot how much that uh, e.l.f. Camel concealer how far it goes just off of one little dot. So. Okay, so now we are gonna go ahead and go in with bronzer. And again, we're gonna use the Milk Makeup Bronzer in Baked. And we're taking this um, Japanese domed brush. This is the number 718, but I know it's called like a domed, um, domed some kind of, domed some kind of brush or another. Okay, and then again, I'm trying to keep things more towards the back and a bit higher because your girl's getting old. I'm going to take this LR Kabuki brush and we're going to use our Rare Beauty Liquid Flush in Love. Y'all. You do, you need the slightest bit of this, the slightest bit of that, because it goes a long way. And even with the sponge, I had a hard time blending it out. So yeah, this is very, very pigmented. So just take your time blending this out, you guys, if you buy it. Okay, I know it looks intense, but don't forget, we're putting a powder foundation over top and it's gonna cover up a lot of that pigment. So it also doesn't have to be perfect. So next we are gonna go ahead and cream highlight as well. And I'm doing all of these products underneath because I, like I said, I just don't want the powder foundation to wear off that quickly throughout the day. And I feel like doing all of these steps underneath the powder foundation kind of helps it stick. Um, I've used, I've tried this, uh, I'll talk to it whenever I get there, but for a cream highlight, I'm taking the Milk Makeup Highlighter in Lit, and any cream highlight, cream blush, and cream bronzer will work that you have. Could you imagine me leaving the house like this? Oh my gosh. 
Okay, so now we can go in with the powder foundation and I could talk tell you guys more about it. So I like to use the sponge that it just comes with. I don't use any kind of special sponge. I don't use a brush. I just use the sponge that it comes with right here. Same thing I do with my uh, clean fresh powder, which I also really like, but that one has less coverage than this. This is a full coverage powder foundation. Like, and the finish, doesn't even look like a powder. It literally looks like you put on a foundation and didn't set it is what it like. How can I say this? It looks like a cream. That's a better word. It looks like a cream foundation rather than a powder foundation because it is just, like I said, we're gonna go ahead and just apply it. Like, look at that. And we're just gonna apply it how you would any other powder foundation. Like I said, mine's in the shade Golden Beige. And look at how, like I remember I told you the blush was gonna look super intense until we put the powder foundation over it. So that's why I didn't mind using a more intense blush. Like, I just want you guys to see. That's why I'm only doing one half of my face right now because I want you guys to see how poor blurring and how beautiful this looks on the skin. Like it does not look like a, I don't know. Like it's the strangest thing. Like, you see like how flawless this looks over here. So just blush. <laughs> this side looks really bad because all you can see is the blush, but like you can see like how airbrushed this side looks compared to this side. Like it, I guess the forehead would be. So it does kind of mattify that down a little bit. So it is gonna help control your oils. I don't notice myself getting oily with this powder throughout the day or anything like that. And from what I've noticed, it wears like a foundation. Like it does not wear off. I haven't really noticed it like rubbing off too easily. Um, but this this foundation is so pretty and people don't can't tell that it's a powder foundation which means like it's not clinging to my peach fuzz it's not clinging to dry spots it's just so good you guys so good when i see why people say like whenever you they use this powder foundation like it looks like you put a filter on your face like i stand by that 100 percent and then it, you see how it looks super dark when I put first put it on and then like the longer it sits there and I blend it out, it actually really ma matches me perfectly. Just got to make sure to get everywhere with it. Just as if it were a liquid foundation. So yeah, I don't know about y'all, but I feel like that is some bomb, bomb coverage for a powder foundation. Like even better than my CoverGirl one super good so now we are going to go ahead and work on the eyes because yes i do the eyes but it's not too much so what i'm going to do first is take this alamod brightening brush and i'm just going to set down that concealer that we put on the eyes and then um i specifically only use this palette on my everyday makeup looks for the brightening powders because i do want to go back under like go back and brighten underneath my eyes and down the center of my face and kind of like make this look more chiseled out but we're not on that step right now so i'm gonna take this bronzer right here in the bff um snatched face palette from bh cosmetics we're gonna take this shade right here and we're just gonna buff this into our crease just to add some dimension. We're not gonna do too much to the eyes. So that is literally all we're doing to the eyes. And we're just gonna kind of leave the lid open and just that way that area looks bright and there's, like I said, dimension. Okay, and then we are gonna go ahead and ap apply mascara. And the mascara I love for every day that is affordable is the Essence Volume Stylist Mascara. I love this mascara because not only does it add volume, but it does lengthen and it looks beautiful on the lower lashes. And I'm emphasizing the lower lashes because I do still love my everyday lashes, my Salon Perfect 614s, my Kiss Number Zero One, my Kiss Lashes in Zero One, and my current favorite are, current favorites are the Lash Couture Naked Drama Kiss Lashes in Ruffle. So these are what we're going to be applying today. So. 
um yeah we will get back to talking once i have mascara and lashes on so now that we're done with that since we're not doing anything like to the lower lash line or anything like that i'm just gonna go ahead and apply my lower lash mascara and that is absolutely it for the eyes you guys obviously you can go without the lashes and load up on mascara i just got baby lashes and not in my jam so anymore so now we are gonna go ahead and you guys with this we're gonna go ahead and bronze but if you buy this bronzer palette do not say you were not worn because i'm warning you now this bad boy look that was one dip is pigmented look watch dip look at that crazy first time i used this it was kind of like the first time i used that rare beauty blush crazy okay and then for blush i am going to take the blush in here so the bronzer i use is called skinny legend and then this one is called you're my person for the blush and since it's an everyday makeup look i'm going to use something super light and fluffy <laughs> these are just so pigmented super light and fluffy to apply that wow that's insane y'all okay then for highlight taking this i just can't stop using this contrice one i'm like since this is an everyday look i really want you know like light bronzer and light blush but with the highlight forget the everyday look let's go ahead and set our brows and i'm gonna go ahead and use my wet and wild brow obsessive brow gel it's drying out just a tad so i don't have to clean off as much excess anymore and then like i said you guys i do like to go back in with my coco contour palette and just take this brightening shade and i'm gonna mix the two because i'm not really dark enough for just a straight up banana and just pat underneath my eye and I'll just add some brightness under there since our concealer was underneath the powder foundation and so we're just using this powder to add some brightness back to our face and then we're going to clean up this right here. I always feel like one side is way more intense than the other side. All right, and then for lips, I want something super simple for every day. So I'm going to take this Milani Understatement Lip Liner. And this one is just called Nude Insurance. And... Now this shade is actually very similar to my lip shade but it's a little bit more intense than my actual lip color or pigmented not intense but pigmented still trying to master talking while doing lip liner like see something super simple but you know we got to add a little glossy gloss so i'm gonna go in with my sugared cosmetics and this is their gold rolled gold rose gold lip gloss and just add that and then we set oh curl and then set you guys know I always have to curl my lashes not only because they stick kind of straight out and but I like for mine to look lifted and not only that but it'll combine your false lashes with your real lashes so that's why I like to curl but I wait to curl till my very last steps so that way the mascara is dry and you don't pull out your lashes and setting with the next spray All right, you guys, that is it for today's makeup look. We are gonna go ahead and do check-ins. It is currently 12.30, so it's not going to be like a super long check-in like usual. It's probably gonna be like nine to 10 hours. So yeah, I'll go ahead and uh, we'll go ahead and go on throughout my day. I have one more video to film and then I am going to work out this evening, cook dinner, you know, run around with the chillins. If it wasn't cold outside, I'd take them to the park, but Lubbock, Texas, yesterday was 75, today it's 50. Five, and I'm not even exaggerating. That's literally what my watch says. Yesterday was 75, today it's 55. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go through on throughout our day. And yeah, one more video to film, work out, things like that. Usually just in the house, but I like to work out with makeup on just that way you guys can see that it really, really works. So yeah, let's go ahead and go on throughout our day. Hey guys, sorry I've been crappy with my check-ins today. It's currently 9.30, so I've had this foundation on for nine hours i just finished my workout for the day i crashed after i picked ethan up from school but 
I like poured sweat, like underneath my bangs is wet. And this is what it's looking like, like gorgeous. It looks so good. Like you can tell I'm drenching sweat and like it's not running. I don't have like the sweat little lines or anything, but yeah, nine hour check-in. Also, I slept on this side and everything still looks perfect. So yeah, so far so good on this foundation. I'm gonna have this on for about another hour or two, but I'm about to go eat dinner. So I'll see you guys in a bit before I get in the shower. All right, you guys, so it is almost 11 o'clock. So we have had this on for 10 and a half hours. And this is what it ended up looking like after my workout. And I looked at my pillow and some makeup did rub, rub off on my pillow from my nap. And But I mean, still for makeup to have rub off on my, for makeup to have, makeup to have run, I don't know. For makeup to rub off on my pillow, this is, still looks really good. I mean, like this side is obviously still has more just makeup in general than this side. But I mean, that's pretty good for the intense workout that I had for wearing it for 10 and a half hours. I mean, that's a good everyday makeup routine. And not only that, but the powder itself, like I said, you don't get too oily, but it's still, like it still gives you that healthy glow, but it doesn't make you oily. Does that make sense? It gives you more of a glow than like a dew. And I love that. And the coverage is great and it lasts all day. And I mean, even when it rubs off, <laughs> you still have pretty good coverage. So yeah, that is it for this wear test, you guys. I will see you guys in the next one. All right, you guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know what other foundations you guys would like me to try out, powder foundations, even if you think it's matte. I did have a request for the Estee Lauder Double Wear Wear Test, which I actually have, and the LA Girl Pro Matte. And I might actually try the LA Girl Pro Matte because even though I'm dry that, that foundation gets really oily on me like the regular la girl just the regular H la girl hd foundation that one gets really really oily on me so i will go ahead and purchase the pro matte but that one won't come till next month because for the month of march i'm not buying any new makeup you guys but for the month of march like just let me know so i can start making my list of what to buy in april and things like that i don't know i might give in to buying a couple foundations here and there so yeah I love you guys, but I always remember that Jesus loves you more. If you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.